Another story that Kessler tells in his book is a parable by Herbert Simon, known as the Parable of Two Watchmakers, which describes how the universe uses holons as a way to maximize evolutionary efficiency. It goes something like this. There were once two watchmakers named Bios and Makos who made very fine watches. The phones in their workshops rang frequently. New customers were constantly calling them. However, Bios prospered while Makos became poorer and poorer. In the end, Makos lost his shop and worked as a mechanic for Bios. What was the reason behind this? The watches consisted of about a thousand parts each. The watches that Mekos made were designed such that when he had to put down a partly assembled watch, for instance, to answer the phone, it immediately fell into pieces and had to be completely reassembled from the basic elements. On the other hand, Bios designed his watches so that he could put together sub-assemblies of about 10 components each. 10 of these sub-assemblies could then be put together to make a larger sub-assembly. Finally, 10 of the larger sub-assemblies constituted the whole watch. When Bios had to put his watches down to attend some interruption, they did not break up into their elemental parts, but only into their sub-assemblies. Now, the watchmakers were each disturbed at the same rate of once per hundred assembly operations. However, due to their different assembly methods, it took Mekos 4,000 times longer than Bios to complete a single watch. And so it was that in his groundbreaking book, The Ghost in the Machine, Arthur Kessler coined a new word in order to describe the basic sub-assemblies that human beings and reality itself are composed from. Holons. In Kessler's mind, the idea that either parts or holes have any real independent existence seemed a bit silly. There's no such thing as an up without a down, a mountain without a valley, an inside without an outside. And there's no such thing as a part without a whole. They are inseparable from each other. There's no absolute parts in this universe, nor are there any absolute holes hovering somewhere above this reality. There's only an infinite chain of whole parts stretching in both directions. Turtles all the way up, turtles all the way down.